Hi, welcome back to Daydream Manor Flower Farm. If you're new here, I'm Dawn. I live in South Louisiana in Zone 8B, and I'm a flower farmer. Oh, welcome back to the STEM Shed. This is probably where y'all are going to find me over the next couple of months. Just because in the winter, there's not a whole lot to do out, outside on um, in the flower field. Uh, but I do have work that I can do in the STEM Shed. It's where I'm doing some of the things that I want to post on my... Um, uh, website so in the manor mercantile as we have now named it um, where I will have uh, handcrafted things for sale so that's kind of where I'm concentrating right now but y'all I felt so I have felt so good the past two or three days I mean like like I did two months ago <laughs> prior to getting sick so um yeah I mean I I don't know what it was, but this morning I woke up and I just felt like I had so much energy and I was anxious to get out here in the shed. Plus, I had an order come in that I want to share with y'all. Um, again, just talking about budget and pricing and what, what I ordered and how much it cost. So, but I've gotten a couple of things done since the last time we've talked. I was able to get my dirt and compost all of that ordered so that's coming in the next couple of days um we had to make a decision on a piece of equipment that mr daydream <laughs> has wanted for several years and we've just put it off um and when we were talking about how he is designing the raised bed uh this this thing this whatever you want to call it torchy torch thing um no i don't think that's what it's called I, i'm not even sure what it's called um settling torch maybe i don't know let's just pretend like i know um he's looked at one for several years he can use it in his shop he can use it for his his day job um and we just put off and then once we start talking about god think about how much easier it would be if he had that so we we went he went and got it so we got that tucked away um because that's one of the things i've talked about this before i am over 50 He's not quite 50, but he's starting to feel it. And so I want to make sure we are working so much smarter and more efficient. Um, and that is putting systems and, and, and processes in place and whatever that is. So that's one other thing. That's another part of the systems that I'm trying to get into place. Like what are the things that are going to help us be efficient, easier on us? I mean, just the older I get, yeah, I, the physical labor is is enough and i mean i think i'm in pretty decent condition but i will tell you um after getting sick a few months ago it has really knocked me on my butt so all of that just comes to mind but anyway there i go again squirrel um he got he bought that so that squared away um still need to disc up the field but i think that's going to get done um this weekend and then we'll start on the raised beds which i will bring you along for so you can see how we're building them um but today and i'm also realizing today yeah i need to fertilize my seedlings so i'm just sitting here looking at them thinking okay next oh hold hold please my biggest purchase <laughs> some of you can relate yeah a notebook actually this one though this one's kind of cool this one was um by stone paper and it is has waterproof pages so i i was like you know what let me get that as much as it plus it stays out here in the stem shed i don't have any heating or air or anything in here um it is literally a part of my husband's shop so um yeah, this I'm, I'm excited over, so I started using it. So I'm writing things down now. And I'm leaving it out here so I know where it is at all times. Um, all right. Anyway, let me tell you about this order I got in. So a few months ago, I had put in an order. I don't even remember when. Does that even say on here? Oh, I feel like it's been... A, oh, May. May. La, May. May 10th, in fact. Hmm. Didn't... Yeah, it's been a while. Um, For some fall bulbs, I have not ever placed an order like with ball or this is uh leo burby i have not placed an order with them before 
Um, I've not used any of those bigger companies just because some, sometimes you have to have a minimum um, or not even just a minimum of one thing, just a minimum overall. And then shipping is a little expensive. And I just haven't felt like I'm there yet. Um, I mean, we can talk about Tulip Gate of 2020 when I thought I knew what I was doing. Um, I did not. I did not understand the difference between spring, um, early, mid, late blooming tulips. I did not understand the weather patterns here. I did not understand how weather affected tulips. And so I had bought tulips from um, just some other farmers. I had bought them from um, other other folks. I bought them from the big box store. So I bought them from a discount place that sends me emails. And, I, and, and look, those actually bloomed. So I was kind of excited. But the problem was, A, they all bloomed at one time. B, when I say all, the ones that bloomed. <laughs> so then um, they bloomed at, 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 they all bloomed like in late February, early March, and I was so not ready for it. I did not have buyers lined up. I had no customers. I had no bouquet sales. And so it was like, now when I finally did get, oh, <laughs> and I'm going to say 80% of them were about that tall. They were bad. Uh, my soil wasn't good or as good as it needed to be so there were a lot of factors and that i just did not know and so i was real iffy about doing it last year i tried just a handful and they did all right and as soon as i posted the one that i love people were like oh i want them i want them i want them and so i did buy more of those but this year in may i decided okay let's try this one more year let's buy some bulbs um i am nowhere near people who are planting thousands like I'm just not ready for that um so here's what I ordered so I'm, well I want to share with you what I ordered because it was a couple of things that came in um this it, it came in this crate um in a big box delivered UPS and so um these are pre-chilled the tulips are pre-chilled I went ahead and did that um, which I've got to go get these into the fridge still because I'm not ready for them to go down yet. I'll probably wait um, with our weather. Who knows? I'll probably wait until after Thanksgiving to actually get them in the ground. Um, so this, so I'm going to, let me, I'm just going to run through these real quick. So I do like it. I do like that. I got one of these crates. You will see flower farmers using those for um, tulips. They'll plant lilies, glads, um, whatever in these crates. And so I, I'm, I definitely can reuse this because um, I think I'm going to do an experiment. I may try. I have, I have a lot of lily bulbs from last year, so I may try to grow some in here just to see what happens. Um, all right. So first stuff that I ordered was this. Oh, oh, yes. This is the Darwin Hybrid Tulips. This is Pink Impression. I'll show you. It's about the size. Size of the bulb. So, see that? So that's the size of the bulb. Um, this was um, 100 of these. Ugh. All right. Oh, two other things I ordered that um, I'm excited that came in. I did order some more um, ranunculus. This is pastels. I have a bunch of corms from last year. And they did multiply, and I was able to separate them. Um, but I, I really wanted um, some fresh ones so that I can continue to separate them and multiply my ranunculus because those are an amazing seller for me. So this is one of the corms out of the bag. So they look great. They look extremely healthy. They look healthy. They look good. Um, and they're all about that size. Uh, the other thing that I ordered was and I and the only reason I ordered this because I didn't have anything this color. This is anemones. This is Jerusalem blue. So I I was happy when I when I looked and I was like, oh yes, they did come in because I have seen some other flower farmers say that their anemones that they ordered, the white ones, the black ones, their orders were canceled. Um, evidently there was a weather issue with the grower. So I I was excited that I did get these. Um, again, I have anemones from last year that I um, 
pulled up and separated and stored for this year. So, excited over that. Um, oh, okay, these are the ones that I did last year that I, I wish in hindsight last year, and maybe this year I should have just ordered just these, but I wanted to try another one. These are the only ones that did get longer for me. Um, these are the uh, parrot tulips. This is series is um, their pink, white, and rose. So I'm excited over these. Look how big these are. I mean, they look amazing. They look, they look so good. Um, uh, yep. Here is I ordered. Um, this is a hundred narcissists. Narcissus? Yeah, maybe. All right. So excited over those. Um, those are actually, I only had a handful of those last year. And again, posted those and people were like, oh, I want to, can you do just a bouquet of just those? I'm like, no, I don't have enough. Um, <laughs> are you going to be looking at a really skimpy bouquet? <clears throat> and then the last set of tulips that I ordered, this is the early tulips. I did go with early tulips just because of our weather. I, I mean, they're all going to bloom anyway early. Um, this is candy prints, and they're a violet color. So, yeah, look at those. I mean, those bulbs, I mean, they're pretty. They look great. So, that was the order. So, in total, um, 700 bulbs between the tulips, the anemones, the ranunculus, and the narcissus. So, that was 700 bulbs. And my total was three. I want to say 300, right at $375. So, um, it's a little bit of an investment. And I don't even want to say it's an investment, really, because the tulips are a one and done. Like, when you harvest those, if you've never grown tulips, you pull the entire bulb up. Um, and I, that's how, and, and that, I try to get the whole bulb at the time because I leave the bulb attached and put it into the, the cooler so that, um, so that I have a little bit more time to get them prepped and get them sold. So, um, yeah, so tulips are one and done. I'm going to make the decision this year if I'll do some next year, uh, year uh, in 2024. So, you know, again, I, I always say I'm going to try some things. Um, and by try, I usually say a two-year trial period just because of the difference in the weather patterns. And then then from there, I'm going to, I'll decide. So, um yeah, I'm excited over this. Uh, I can't wait to get them in the ground. So hopefully they're the, but I'm, again, I'm not going to do these uh, tulips until much later. Uh, but yeah, that's what's happening over here. So a lot I need to get done over the next couple of days while I'm feeling good. Um, all right, I'm going to wrap this up because I've got some stuff I need to get done. Um, till we meet again, my friends, I hope you are making all of your daydreams into a reality.